Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here playing some Minecraft, and uh, here I'm just gonna show you a, a simple, actually a very simple, uh, Enderman XP farm. And uh, basically, all you have to do is dig one down into the floor, make it as big as you want, and you're gonna want to put a ceiling over your head that doesn't exceed the the parameters of the thing below. And it's um it's really easy because no Enderman can get in here because it's too high, and Endermen are three high. In blocks and um, it's really easy cuz also because all you have to do is dig down and then put the blocks above you so it, <laughs> it really doesn't require that much effort probably the the most difficult part of this is getting into the end um, but it's definitely doable a and you have to kill the ender dragon so it doesn't ruin your your plans or anything but uh, basically what you want to do is you want to swing at these guys down here once you get a bunch of them grouped up. Uh, and the way to get them grouped up actually is just to look at them. It doesn't matter, what I've found is, it doesn't matter how far away you are, if you look at an enderman, they will come and they will turn around and they will teleport to you wherever you are. But none of them can teleport in this little thing, so you're basically invincible in here, from um, just protected from endermen. And there's, there's all these XP thing orbs just uh, filling up outside, and uh, you just you're just gonna want to completely destroy all the El Endermen, just like Mass Gen said. And once you once you beat all of them, uh, which sort of takes a little bit out of your sword, uh, and I can see how that ca that can be annoying, but uh, if you even want, you can use your hand. I I, I don't even think that's possible though, because they're so strong, and you just spend like two hours doing this. <laughs> For, for like wave of Enderman, but still, it might be a pain to your sword because you're just wasting it. And uh, you know, if if you can if you can sacrifice that to get another sword that's a level 30, once you get your enchanting table, um, that that would be pretty good. I mean, I think it's a good trade because one sword can probably like equival like get equivalented to maybe two or three. And uh, all you have to do is use some extra diamonds if you have any. I know I always have diamonds, uh, but it's up to you to do this or not. And okay, so what? Once you kill all the endermen around you, you're gonna want to put on a pumpkin. And uh, the reason I put on the pumpkin is because if you didn't know this already, endermen can attack you if you have a. They they don't see your, you don't look at endermen if you have a pumpkin hat on because they won't notice that you're looking at them and that's what um, primes them to attack you is if you look at them so basically I just leveled up once uh, I'm already at a pretty high level so it's gonna be difficult for me to level up sometimes when I'm like at level 1 or something I level up to like level 10 after doing like a, a wave of those guys um, but also gather a little bit more endermen than I did there um, this is actually my easiest simplest uh, design I have another one over there, and uh, I am. Let me just take this off. I have another one over there. See that one right there? And I'm gonna showcase that one to you guys. But uh, all it needs is really some piston work, and that's pretty much extremely easy. And then there's another one I've seen on many other YouTube channels. Um, it's you build something like 43 blocks or something up high, and then then you spawn Enderman up there, and then they drop, and you have to just one hit them with your hand. I think that's a really cool idea. Um, I, I, I'm actually starting to build that with my friend, but, um, it's gonna be difficult. Uh, I'm almost out of food here, so I think I'm gonna have to go back to the real world. But, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and, uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, like, subscribe, whatever you want, and I'll see you guys later.